Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy Savetsia, and welcome back to another story time video. Um, the last video did pretty good. It got like four likes within like five minutes of it going up, so really appreciate that. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the story, and yeah, let's get into it. So, pretty much, the story takes place in ninth grade freshman year. This is a story of how my friend, my best friend at the time, stole my girl. Pretty much. <laughs> now, you guys might be saying. Oh, dude, how, 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 why would he do that? You know, he's your friend. He shouldn't do that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm over here thinking, yeah, the same, you know, he shouldn't have done that. But there, there is kind of like some reasoning behind it, I suppose. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, this takes place in the same high school I went to. Now this girl, okay. I was a freshman in high school. This girl was, I believe in eighth grade at the time. I think now she's like, what? She's probably like a, a, a junior, I think, right now. But, um, yeah, so, basically, uh, I was chilling, you know, I had a, I, I had a, like, a thing. Okay, so here's how it worked. Uh, in ninth grade, you could take, like, an after-school program at the school, and uh, I decided to take that program, and that's how, like, we started talking and all that, you know, that's how we met, and basically... We, you know, she gave me the Snapchat and all that, and we started talking, and all that good stuff. I told my friend that I liked her, and uh, that he should help me get with her because they were friends or whatever. But basically, <laughs> things kind of went like a bit different, I guess you could say. Um, so basically, what happened was, yeah, we it, like things started like picking up. You know, I I thought like she had a thing for me. And, uh, you know, I decided to ask her out. And she was like, yeah, sure. So, I, I, little me, ninth grade me, thinking, hey, you know, finally this girl likes me. You know, I like her. And to be honest, she wasn't that pretty. Um, so, yeah. You know, so that basically happened. And next thing I know, um, we we, like, you know, we hung out every day went to after school program and and like you know she'd hug me every day like daily she'd hug me and stuff like that but after a while she started ghosting me right so I was like hmm this is weird so I just kind of like stopped texting her you know and me, little I was so excited too like, it's like so it's so funny I was so excited too I told all my friends and everything and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I got this girl. She's really nice, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it was just really funny because <laughs> little did I know. And um, basically, my friend came out to me. Uh, okay, that sounded weird. My friend came up to me and was like, um, he was like, hey, I helped you out. You know, I told her to give you a chance. And uh, here we are. But little did he tell me that he actually told her, hey, Hey, you just like pretend to like him or something for like a week. Now, keep in mind this this guy did like this guy didn't um this guy didn't you know didn't really um I guess you could say like this person. So he was just kind of helping me. But then, little did I know they had DMs and stuff afterwards of. Hey, you're pretty cool and all that and they were she was pretty much flirting with them and uh, yeah so basically after I, she started ghosting me I I literally just uh, you know I was getting played at that point I guess you could say now I don't I don't really care now that I think about it back then I was just kind of dumb uh, cause I only knew this girl for like about what, two weeks, three weeks. And then I was already asking her out. Like I said, high school and middle school relationships aren't real. They're, they're just there for like bragging rights, I guess. But pretty much after that all happened, um, you know, I confronted her and then when I went to go confront her, she's holding hands and like, she's like, she's like snuggled up with my best friend. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So, uh, sorry, I had to censor that right there because I accidentally said the F word, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, I was like, what the hell is this? And, you know, little me was very mad. You know, I was like, I was like pissed. So, basically, 
the next day, or sorry, sorry, before before this happened, right? Before this all happened, this is how I figured out that she broke up with me. Because like at that point, uh, we are we were already. Well, I didn't tell her we were done because remember she was ghosting me. But I thought to myself that we were done. And but like the day before, the day before that happened, um, basically what happened was <laughs> this is so funny. Basically what happened was I was in class, right? I had this friend. We're just gonna call her. Um, we're just gonna call her Diamond, okay? I'm gonna call her Diamond. Uh, and I told her, hey, uh, she's been ghosting me. Can you DM her or something? And little did I know, this girl replied, like, not, not Diamond, the girl who, who I was quote-unquote dating at the time, replies with, no, I'm just giving him a chance because I felt bad. And I was like, bruh, I mean, I could take rejection, you know, but when you play with my emotions, that isn't okay. Um, that, like, pisses me off. Like, that's one of my pet peeves. So, yeah. Uh, I was like really sad that day, you know, I was like crying <laughs> like a little girl, I guess you could say. It was so funny and like people were like making fun of me. I remember there was this kid and I, I, I freaking, I didn't, I wouldn't say I hated him, but I just kind of like despised him on the side and <laughs> he, he was like, I heard your girl left you. I'm like, oh my God. And I was so embarrassed that day. It was so funny. But, uh, basically moving on to back to when I saw them, you know, hanging out like that, um, I was like really sad at that time and I see them, I get mad at him. So basically what I did was I straight up just left the after school program. Like, like I didn't leave, leave, but like. See, the thing was, I think the people who ran the program thought I was just a volunteer or something. Because you could volunteer at that program or whatever to help tutor and all that and, like, arrange stuff. And I think they thought I was just a volunteer because when I when I would go, they just let me go whenever I'd want. Like, you know, normally you'd have to get, like, your parent permission to leave. And... I had permission to just straight up dip whenever I wanted to. All I had to do was just say, all right, I'm out of here. And, uh, yeah, so it was like, it, it, so I just basically left and went home and played some video games. You know, I played video games with Eric, you know, he cheered me up at that point. And, uh, yeah, so pretty much after that, um, they dated for like a few weeks and then they broke up. I don't know why they broke up to be honest They seem pretty happy together, but at the same time I was kind of glad that they broke up because that was such an like that was such a asshole thing to do Especially to your best friend, you know, you shouldn't do that to your best friends um, If you do do that to your best friends well rip because that's pretty messed up But yeah, if you guys enjoy the story, please leave a like and subscribe and if you guys want to see more of these Just let me know in the comments below and yeah, this is Sivetsia and I'm out. Peace.